So yeah, my keychain used to look a little something like this. Um, yeah, that's not fun at all. Now my keychain looks a little something like this, which is much better. Uh, and the way I've done this is I have replaced the locks in my apartment with smart locks or well, more exactly the lock on my front door with a smart lock. And a lot of people have kind of criticized me and said, oh, you're not worried about security and you know, what if it breaks down and all this other stuff. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about smart locks, the pros and cons, um, and some of the ones that are on the market at the moment and why I chose the one that I went. So keep watching. So good afternoon everyone, Andy here from Andy Smart Life once again and as I mentioned today I want to talk a little bit about smart locks and the pros and cons thereof, why I went for the one that I went for and some of the things to think about if you are thinking about getting a smart lock. Uh, it's one of those things that it's it's quite a you know obvious one when you think about it in terms of smart homes. Uh, we've been looking at them for years on TV, on sci-fi shows. In fact, smart locks are not a new concept when you think about it. Most businesses, access points, uh, office buildings, apartment blocks have some sort of smart entrance security, be it an RFID fob or a pin code access or whatever else. But some, for some strange reason, there seems to be this little bit of a mental block when it comes to actually putting um, something similar on your home or your apartment or wherever you live. Um, and this is a bit strange to me. I mean, obviously I, I'm, I'm an early adopter and I want to get the new stuff, uh, but people seem to be very attached to the old lock and key. Um, so I not. I just dis dislike carrying keys intensely. I think they're they're bulky, they're awkward. If you lose them, there's the hassle of potentially having to get a locksmith, get any a new one cut, etc. So the minute I found a smart lock that would work with my apartment, I jumped at the opportunity to get it. So the pros and cons of these are obviously very, very simple to look at. The pro is you don't have to necessarily carry keys. Um, you can open your door. You can even check it online with an app and see that you lock the door behind you. Cons are if the battery goes, you're going to get locked out, possibly. Um, we'll come back to that one. Um, it could jam again, possibly. There's a motor, there's a mechanism, whatever else. Um, you know, there are pros and cons. If somebody finds your phone, do they get access? Again, my argument there would be if they find your keys, they're going to get access. So there are the obvious pros and cons that we've seen. But the biggest challenge I had when trying to pick a smart lock was actually finding one that was compatible with my door. Um, and this was a bit of a challenge. The reason for this is that the majority of the smart lock manufacturers want you to do one of two things. They either want you to A, completely replace the locking mechanism that you have on your door, which could involve you drilling more holes, wrecking the door, getting a locksmith out, etc. It's an option, but it means that any keys that you have are going to potentially be useless and everything is basically from scratch. The second option is that you get a smart lock that retrofits to your lock or your existing whatever door system, door entryway that you have. The catch with the ones that retrofit is that unless you get one that's specifically designed for the type of door, the type of lock, the type of bolt, um, the type of cylinder that you have, it ain't gonna fit. So this was a bit challenging for me and eventually I went for one from a company called Nuki, which I think are based in Germany and there are many of them out on the market at the moment so there's August, um, there's Yale have their smart locks, Danalock, um, Quickset if I'm pronouncing that right. So there's lots of companies making these but a lot of them seem to cater mostly for the American market and believe it or not locks over there work a little bit differently so European locks tend to be that little bit different so over here in my apartment for example I have a cylinder lock it's one single lock one single piece or unit uh, that goes all the way through the door. I can lock it from the inside or the outside, um, but there's also security features so that um, you can, for example, have two keys in at the same time. And if you need to, in a hurry, you can open from the inside um, with a little knob thing. So you're not gonna get locked in or whatever else. But the ones that I looked at, for example, August, did not cater for this. Or if they did, they would only unlock the actual lock they wouldn't pull back the catch. So the challenge here for me was, there's no handle on the outside of my apartment door. Even if I was to get something that would open the lock fully, there was nothing to actually pull the catch of the door back to actually let me in. So this is the reason I went for the Nuki smart lock because it not only actually opens up the lock 
the locking mechanism with the motor that's built in. It also holds back the latch. Um, so you know yourself on most doors you have the actual lock or the bolt that goes into the door, goes into the wall to stop you from opening, but you also have the latch which kind of closes and opens so you don't need to necessarily lock your door, you just push it closed, same as on any door. Um, and the challenge is that unless you have a handle on the outside to actually pull the lever down and, and pull that latch open, that's not going to work. So. Yeah, there was actually quite a lot of things to think about and I'm not even going into a lot of detail here, but suffice it to say, I had to find a lock or a smart lock that would actually not only open up the locking mechanism, but also open the latch um, as if I was pulling a handle, given that I have no handle on the outside. Otherwise, I'd be getting to my front door, I'd be opening the lock um, and I still wouldn't be able to get in because I'd still need to physically turn a key or turn something to open the latch. Um, and that's why I went for the Nuki Smart Lock. One of the other ones I was looking at was the August Smart Lock. Again, it retrofits over your existing locking mechanism. So you don't have to get a locksmith out. You can just change the knob, remove the knob on the inside, retrofit this over it. And it essentially grabs onto the locking mechanism and a motor grips it. And then when you open up the app and click on lock, it opens, it turns turns it and it unlocks it. Same as the one I have, the Nuki one. Um, the challenge was that the August one didn't do that latch back thing um, unless they've updated this now. But essentially what it would do is it would only open a lock. It wouldn't actually pull down the handle, so to speak. So there's quite a lot of things actually to think about if you are thinking about getting a smart lock. So my first piece of advice is if you are thinking about getting one, um, do your research, figure out what type of lock that you have. Most of these websites, um, the company's websites have compatibility checkers, so you can put in the type of lock that you have. Um, mine was a spurious one, so I just had to kind of work it out. Um, and I'll show you a little bit of the setup I have now in a couple of minutes. Um, the other thing obviously then is the security factor. Am I worried about it being hacked? or whatever else, blah, 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 blah. Look, the more I think about it, the more I'm saying to myself, if somebody really wants to get into my home, it's not gonna matter whether I have a physical lock and key or I have a smart lock. They're gonna have to get through that lock somehow. They're gonna have to get into the apartment somehow. Um, and I think if somebody is prepared to go to that level of determination to actually get into my apartment, um, it doesn't matter whether it's a smart lock or a lock and key, they're going to get in. If you're worried about the security element, don't be. Um, if you lose your keys, it's just as bad as if somebody got there and was a world-class genius hacker and was able to hack into your door lock. It's highly unlikely, but I don't know, it could happen. Um, most of these locks operate on Bluetooth short range, so you can set it so that when you get close, your phone automatically unlocks and opens the door. Um, and they can connect to Wi-Fi, so I have a bridge so that I can connect to my Wi-Fi and ask Amazon Echo if my door is locked at the end of the night. So I'm, I'm not going to bed worrying about whether or not the door is locked, uh, which is really, really good. So look, from my perspective, I don't see any security issues here. Bluetooth, you know, people argue isn't very secure. The Nuki Smart Lock claims that it uses lots of different encryption and security and all that sort of stuff. To be honest, I'm not that concerned. If somebody, as I said, has the wherewithal to get where I live and get into my apartment, you know, a lock's not gonna stop them. So this is the Nuki Smart Lock. It's a fairly straightforward device. As you can see, it kind of sits quite far out from the door. So they are quite bulky, the smart locks, just to warn people, um, particularly if you get the ones that are augmenting existing locking mechanisms. If you go for the more expensive ones, the Yales or whatever else, they will completely replace your existing locking mechanisms. So they do look a little bit prettier, um, but I didn't want to do that much to the, my apartment door. And I also wanted to keep the existing keys that I have. So this one, uh, what I'll do is I'll just take out the batteries first and foremost. So it's just a battery pack of four AA batteries. And then there's a little release catch there. So as you can see, that green, um, that green plastic bit is where the knob for my door used to be that I used to turn to unlock the door. So I took that off, I placed um, this metal frame around it. So this is kind of the, the, the frame that the entire lock sits on. And then this adapter just fits over the cylinder where my lock would have turned or my knob would have been that sits over it and is gripped by the motor inside here so if you can see that it grips in there so they're fairly straightforward devices 
um, which is probably a good thing. The less that can go wrong, the better. So I'll just clip this back on if I can. There we go. And I'll put the batteries back in. And it'll light up and it'll reconnect. You can also see this little magnet here. That's the door sensor. So when this is in proximity, it knows that the door is locked or it's closed rather. Um, and this lets me automatically um, lock the door when the door is locked after I come home. So it's now lighting up to tell me that it's locked. So there's a couple of things you can do. So the first one obviously is you can just turn manually and unlock. And then if I keep turning, that'll actually pull the catch and I can open the door. Happy days. The other thing I can do is, and because it's now realized that it's closed again, it's gonna lock. Okay, so I have it set that with one press, it just unlocks. And if you can see there inside, the locks just opened up, but I still have to pull the handle if I want to go out. But I have it set that if I quick press twice, not only will it unlock, it actually pulls the catch back for a few seconds and that way the door can just be pulled or pushed from the outside and I'm out or in. So very straightforward device, very simple, very straightforward, but incredibly useful. Um, the fact that you can always turn this from the inside means that even if the power goes, you're not gonna be locked in. Um, and on the outside, I'll just very quickly show you. The key is exactly the same as it was before. So it's the same keys. So I've literally just augmented uh, my lock. That's locking again, again, because it sensed that the door is closed. The other thing I got was I got one of these, which is the bridge. And this basically connects the new key to your Wi-Fi. So without this, um, you can only use Bluetooth to open and unlock and whatever else. With this, I can connect to Wi-Fi so I can actually connect to the lock outside of my apartment um, and I can connect it to Amazon Echo um, and do cool things like ask Echo if the door is locked. So guys and girls, that is the new key smart lock. Um, rather than it actually giving less peace of mind having a mechanical or automated locking mechanism, I actually get more peace of mind um, from having this because I'm able to check it remotely. You know, I know if the door has been opened, I get notifications uh, and I don't have to carry keys. Obviously, if I lose my phone, you know, somebody else who have granted access can give me access, which is really good. If there's an emergency, so if the caretaker for the building needed to get in for a leak um, or a fire or something like that, you know, I can actually grant that person access um, when they're outside the door, they can go, hey, I'm outside your door, can you let me in? And I could be in Alicante and they would be able to get in, which is really, really handy. I can let them in from anywhere in the world. So there are huge, huge benefits to having a smart lock. Um, they do, for me, outweigh the negatives of, you know, the things like, you know, the battery could go, etc., etc. The fact that this one augments the existing lock means I can still use my old key um, and any of the keys that people have for my, you know, family, friends have for my apartment still work the same and I have one of these in a secure location so if the worst came to the worst I lost my phone I couldn't get in I could just go and get that secure key um, and let myself in so that's quite handy as well so look guys I highly recommend that you look into smart locks if you are looking to automate your life uh, automate your home they're a great way to do it. They're not cheap though. The Nuki Smart Lock is about 300 euro if you get the full pack um, or 279 if you get the full pack. That includes the bridge that lets you connect it to Wi-Fi. Um, it's absolutely worth it though. It's a bit of an, an initial expense. Um, and at first I was kind of concerned about spending that much money on something like this. But trust me, the benefits have definitely outweighed that, that concern and that cost. So I've had my one, the Nuki Smart Lock for about six months now and I'm fairly happy with it. The mechanism mechanism is quite loud, that's the only thing, but we did get used to it quite quickly. The batteries lasted about six months the first time. I do recommend that you use decent batteries, good batteries. If you cheap out on the batteries, you're going to notice them going a lot quicker. Obviously, the batteries will drain quicker depending on how many times you come in and out, um, but we got about six months out of the first set. We do have to recalibrate it though um, about once every three or four months or so. It seems to, for whatever reason, just 
give us an error message. It doesn't stop unlocking and locking. It just gives us this warning that it's not calibrated or that the sensor is not correct. Um, and sometimes this means that when we close the door, it doesn't lock automatically first time. Um, it then waits for the trigger of five minutes and then locks. Um, so it's not a big deal, but it's, it's, it's a little bit of a bug that we seem to be getting. Nuki are also doing an additional one called the opener, which has just been released, which will allow you to connect to apartment intercom systems and open the main door of the apartment building. So I'm really, really curious to see how that one works. I haven't got my hands on one yet. Um, it's only just gone on sale in the last few days. So I'm gonna be getting that and I'll talk to you guys. Anyone who lives in an apartment can have a look at when I install that and see how well it works. So guys, with that in mind, I'd love if you gave me an old subscribe. Um, it's great to see people kind of give me a little bit of feedback, uh, both in person and on social media sites. So thank you very much for that, much appreciated. Um, and, uh, and with that in mind, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.